is around that time, ladies and gentlemen. FIFA 21 is almost here, and you already know the deal. We're going to be opening packs this year, and we're going to be entering the team of the season and most importantly, team of the years in every single car that will be happening later this year. Now, we got a lot to cover here, ladies and gentlemen, because you know why? Because we're about to do a Premier League squad builder on the flipping website. Shout out to them. They actually did really good on this, and I'm really impressed how they've actually been doing it over the years. I've been with them since uh, 2017, and they have been doing all right. And most importantly, I've been actually there since then. I've been opening packs. They already know this about me. And most importantly, they already know that your boy has already been opening packs recently this year. So, y'all already know the di deal. If you guys like it, strike that like button with the axe of truth. And without further ado, let's get into the squad builder. So, we have a lot to cover here. As far as anything, if you guys look, we are currently in the uh, FIFA 21 squad builder. Um, as far as anything is the recording is concerned. Uh, this is on the Footbin website, so shout out to them. Um, they have a lot of ads on the website, so uh, you can see it right here. <laughs> but nevertheless, we're not gonna get it set by it. We're just gonna let this shit go and uh, let's just get into the squad builder. So, um, like I said before, we're gonna actually focus on the Premier League side. So we're gonna see what type of players we have for the Premier League and see what we actually can offer. We're gonna start off with the left wing because I wanna make sure we get everything set. Uh, so let's start off with the Premier League uh, players so it'll be a little bit easier. Um, looks like um, we're gonna start off with the um, decent amount of teams here. So it looks like, um, oh wow, that. That, that's just mean. That's just mean, really. That is just real mean. That is just real mean, yo. So, in case you guys don't see it, they have my good friend here at 87. Y'all are assholes. But anyway, let's move on. <laughs> um, but it's fine. As far as anything, it's fine. Um, we have a lot to cover here, like I said. And uh, it looks like they haven't really like done anything with the team as far as um, putting them in place. So what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna choose the uh, left wing player that we're actually gonna go for uh, it's between Raheem Sterling or Muhammad Salah. Well, actually no, uh, no, sorry, Mane. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Uh, it's between him and Mane. So we have these two. So uh, which one are we gonna go for? We're gonna go for better pace in dribbling and maybe the less uh actually no more physical and more shooting than him actually i think that never mind i take that back he actually uh has a better card this year as far as anything so uh hey man you gotta at least do something about it so that's fair that's fair now let's head to striker let's see who we get for striker on the premier league side we have not looked at the attacking uh Are they not choosing the right positions that we were supposed to be going for? Striker. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I am literally forgetting. <laughs> so the highest one is Aguero. And looking at his stats, it doesn't look like he can actually be that. But even so, uh, he's not. Harry Kane's not really uh, above him. Neither is Firmino. Nor my good <sighs> striker, Aubameyang. Damn it. But it will have to go for Aguero. I would put him for, I would put Firmino for the chemistry. As far as anything, I would put him in for the chemistry. But since we're only going for just broad Premier League players, um, I'm just going to have to go with him regardless. So, uh, let's put him in here. So, the length seems to be all right as far as anything, but we're not really going to worry about it. So, if we uh, go here, this is the... Um, this is the right wing this time. This is the right wing. So let's see who we got for the right wing. And it's Muhammad Salah. Muhammad Salah is the only one that's actually uh, actually perfect for this one. 
Hmm. Interesting. Pretty much that would actually sum it up anyway, considering the fact that um, how good his card is now for this year. Ah, interesting. I wonder what his price range. Uh, how about you actually guys uh, suggest that for yourself? What is going to be the price range for Mahamasala in the comment? I want you guys to actually uh, tell me what you guys think. Like, what's your prediction on the price ranges? Because I guarantee they're going to actually try to up the price ranges for the 90 and 89 rated. And probably up by 650 to 850k max. Like, that's pretty much all they're going to have to do as far as anything. But let's just move on. Um, let's see. We got the here and then we're moving on. I'm guessing this is the, the center mid. So we got three center mid positions. Let me take a look before I do that. Uh, yeah, we do. We have three center mid positions because we're using a 4 3 3 variation. We weren't really going to change it regardless. So, nevertheless, um, let's go for a center mid here. And ooh, yeah. I also meant to tell you they also released the Legends early, too. <laughs> um, so, but since we're not going to focus on the Legends yet, uh, if you guys want me to do the Legends... Alright, so I just had noticed the entire camera is delaying and lagging a lot. So the FPS is dropping massively when I'm on this website. So, please expect a lot of frame drops on my camera, my webcam, and a lot of delay to my voice. Because I literally noticed this as I was going through the entire thing. And it was weird to me how I didn't even notice this until I was literally going ahead of, because uh, I'm editing right now, and I'm going ahead of it, and I'm noticing my entire camera is glitching out. So, I have to re-download the application for the Logitech webcam because now this thing is acting up mad hard during editing and I can't seem to do anything about it. And I am madly concerned if it did it the same way to my other cameras when I'm going to be doing the next face cam videos. So, please be mindful of the, the entire video going through. Just be mindful, please. You already know what to do. Anyway, so um, let's get the uh, left. Let's go for the left wing. No, no. Oh, wait, no. Uh, cinnamon. What am I? What am I doing? Did I already do it? Yeah, I already did it. My brain is all over the fucking place. Um. Uh, so basically to sum it up we just need specific center mids and judging by the highest center mid It's Pogba If we were going for CDM or cam it would be Both and I'm just saying this it would be both Kevin De Bruyne and Kante But since we're going for center mids It's Pogba so those are mainly the highest ones we have, as far as this variation is concerned. Um, let's move on to the next center mid, and it's going to be the Premier League one. Thank you. Um, hang on. I'm going to skip all these, because like, I'm forgetting that this is going to be like quality of I can doing this. So, we're going to go for the second highest uh, center mid. And that is going to be Wagner Del. Uh, please tell me if I'm butchering it in the comments, because I, I I can't get the name right. I can't get the name right. But um, Wagner Del. Wagner Del. I don't know how to say it. But uh, basically, yeah, Wagner Del. I don't know how to say his name. It's hard to say it, but uh, you get my point. But basically, he's the highest as far as center mid is concerned. So, it wouldn't be that serious. Um, so let's move on to the next uh, center mid. And it seems like, oh, ow. The next one is Tino. Are you kidding me? 
Matino's the only one that's highest out of this? Wow, that's nuts. I didn't even realize he was only the highest out of all of them. Actually, no, he's only an 83, but... Which one is better? So there's two 83s. Um, there's, there's about at least three of them. Yeah, three 83s. Uh, that are cinnamon. Four, never mind. Four sentiments that are 83. Which one is better, though? Uh, um... And this one has to be based around dribbling. So it's uh, Kavashi. Or Kavashi. But uh, you get my point. Um, Kavash. Kavashic um, is the probably the better one due to his dribbling because um, center mids do uh, tend to focus on that specific position, so it is that uh, broad as far as anything. So um, it wouldn't be that surprising. Let's go for left back. If we're going strictly for left back, then we have to be sure which one we're going to go for. Which one is the highest in the Premier League is the question. Let us find out, ladies and gentlemen. Let let us see. It is Robinson. Huh. Wow, I guess not that many people have heard of competition. Well, I mean, what can you say? What can you say? Um, as far as anything, I wouldn't have never been that surprised, to be honest. Because they got so many other left backs that haven't made the cut. It would make sense that he's the only person that made it high rated as far as left backs are. I wouldn't be that surprised. So let's go for the right back. And uh, judging by the um, genuine concern, because I guarantee you there's going to be so many, because um, we have to go for right back. Right back and then. Um, and it is Alexander Arnold. So, looks like Liverpool takes almost the highest rating as far as position is concerned. Because if you look at um, Wigandone, Salah, Robertson, and Alexander-Arnold, these guys are literally highest in their position. I'm being serious. So, it's interesting to me how in the world you had that type of broad play on that. So it just wouldn't make sense. Now, here's where we're going to win. I'm guaranteeing this, and I'm, I'm just calling it. Their highest center back for the Premier League is Virgil van Dijk. I'm calling it right here. I'm calling it right here. Because I know that... The Premier League does not have any other higher center backs. They do not have higher center backs than Virgil. And that's it. I called it! I fucking called it. Literally. If you look at this, look at this. Laporte is second. Um, Alta Durrell is the only only one that's literally, literally the highest center back out of the Premier League. You... This is... <laughs> I called it. Literally, I called it. Oh my goodness, it wouldn't have been that surprising. It really wouldn't have been that surprising if that would have been the case. Oh, I freaking called it. God, Jesus. Okay. So, judging by this, you can tell this wouldn't have been that much of a surprise. Just, it wouldn't make sense how in the world they would actually lost the, um, they lost this here, so it wouldn't have never made any sense at all. But I ain't gonna question it at all. I ain't gonna question it. Um, because they, in, in my defense, I'm just saying this for the benefit. You have the best center back in the Prem. How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> How the fuck do you lose with the best center back in the Prem? That makes no sense. And then you got the second best, Laporte. Because, of course, I can't say Laporte. Eh? So, uh, thanks, Harry. Um, <laughs> uh, but as far as anything, um, yeah, he's literally the second best in the Prem, and, uh, it just goes to show you on that one. So, 
Let's go for their goalkeeper. Now, I am guaranteeing their best goalkeeper. Because I have to predict this. And I have to think this clearly, because I know exactly when that was in the concern at this point. The best center back. No, not this. <sighs> their best goalkeeper has to be. And I'm just, I'm just saying this. Does it have? No, it can't be Courtois because he's on the left. Um, is it Lloris? It has to be Lloris because do I remember any like goalkeeper in the Liverpool era? And the only person I know that literally went to um, just, that would be weird. Who, who is it? Who is it? Because I I know it has to be because I have to think about it for one minute. Hang on. Um. Because I'm not too sure. I really am not too sure. So. <sighs> I forgot about Allison. I for guys, 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 listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me carefully, okay? I forgot about Allison, okay? I completely forgot about Allison. I completely forgot about Allison. Do not blame me for this. I completely forgot about Allison. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I completely forgot about him. I didn't think he was actually higher. That's my bad, yo. <laughs> Alright, man. Alright. That's my bad, man. That's my bad. Alright, um... God damn, man. That is a high squad right there. Look at this, man. Look at this. This is freaking crazy. This is actually freaking crazy. Like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for manager. Screw it. I'm not gonna do that. But, um, pretty much, this is it, guys. This is probably the best Prem um, squad you could actually build for any match when FIFA 21 comes out. This is probably going to be the best one you could actually come up with. I mean, I get it. With the 83 here, it would be kind of weird, but he has the better dribbling and the better passing, so you have to use every single part of your knowledge to even like take him on the passing side to go go and pass it i'm guessing to either mohammed salah or um aguero actually no because he has to only pass it to mohammed salah so it wouldn't be that much of a problem unless he unless he's in a bad position then you'll have a problem now this dude right here <laughs> strong dude so you'll be fine this one on the other hand the freaking the French genius you have to trust him on this one you have to trust him and then you have the best defense in the well actually no um, here's the other thing that I was concerned about because Alexander Arnold he will literally probably just run out of place um, because if you look at it he's only has 87 passing 80 pace and 80 dribbling so he'll probably be moving around and guarantee he's probably gonna try and maybe score with the 66. Like, guarantee they're gonna probably get him to score like in this game because it's so. Because it, I'm guaranteeing you, the scripting will be still there. The scripting will definitely still be there. I guarantee you. So all I'm gonna say is, hope you guys really, really, really choose your squad wisely. Uh, but if you do like this uh, squad builder that um, I've been doing, um, or actually I just started doing, because this has been uh, kind of fun, I'm going to keep it a hundred. Um, so um, please let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do another squad builder, because I will do one. Because uh, this is a lot of fun. I ain't going to hold you, man. This is a lot of fun. Um, I was originally thinking that I should probably stick to the Spongebob series, but I already realized that I can actually record that and do this at the same time, because I got a little bit of time and do all that, so 
yeah so you guys already know the difference you already know the drill leave a like hit that subscribe button to join the iron high today and that's it y'all later